Hey guys, Nick from California Tiny House here on another tiny house tour. Welcome to this tiny house tour. <laughs> Today we've got a 10 by 28. It is a totally awesome house. It's got granite countertops, really unique tile backsplash, an awesome tile shower, and a very cool storage system for both the closet and the bathroom. Let's check it out. What I love about this house is that every area is unique. Um, oh, I mean, we had dozens and dozens of people tour this tiny house already, and it's changed so many minds of what people thought a tiny house could even be. Every area is, it's not just a hallway passing through to get to the next area. Literally every, everywhere you go in this house, it's a destination. You've got your living room where your couch sits right here across from your built-in TV and fireplace. The staircase is an S shape coming up to your loft. It's really unique because your actual water heater sits completely below this step, but you still have storage in your stairs. So we're not wasting any space here all the way down. We have the built-in bookcase here. Obviously we've already ran and prepped this for the TV. That is an electric fireplace. It's actually kind of cool. I don't know how to use it, so this might be embarrassing, but it's got little buttons. Oh. So you can change the colors on the bottom I think this changes. Why would you want it to be green? Flames change color too? Oh yeah, dude. These things. Whoa. Why would you want it to be green? Why would you want it to be blue? I don't know, because it's awesome. Mood lighting, parties, whatever, I don't know. And the stairs are awesome. They're, they're extra wide. You can get up to the loft really easily. I mean, it's, it's very simple to walk, to walk and just sit right on your mattress. You've got plenty of space. The loft is great, it's really big, but it has a low wall, so it still feels very open to the rest of the house. You've got tons of lighting up here, and then you've also got the reading lights, which are a little bit, well, they're not quite the right color, but we'll get that fixed. We'll put new bolts in it tomorrow. But you do have reading lights, and you can actually dim them on the other side or shut them off when you go to sleep. So that's great. We even actually put in a special three-way circuit the husband wakes up and goes to bed or goes to work really early and he didn't want to wake his wife up by turning on the whole house lights. So we set a three-way to the bathroom so that he can light up the staircase and then walk down the stairs safely in the morning. So coming in the bathroom, we've got one of our custom barn doors. But before we get there, we got this really unique closet. Now this thing is an absolute beast. It is huge. It has tons and tons of storage. Now the top, your pretty standard closet. You've got your closet pole for your, your hanging. Now these are my shirts, so they're pretty long. And then you've got a shelf. And then a bottom is where it's really cool. And that's where you have this really deep 32 inch pull out drawer that has all your shirts hanging here. You can just grab them and go. Perfect access and perfect use of space when the closet's only 24 inches wide, but 32 inches deep. You get more hanging storage if you go, you know, this way. First thing you're gonna notice is this absolutely gorgeous tile shower with the penny tile floor. And I don't know if you guys ever stepped on that, but it feels amazing on your feet. It's like a foot massage. So custom vanity with a vessel top style sink. And another cool thing about this little area right here is that we've got two windows on either side. So it's bringing in all the natural light literally right in front of you, you know, as you're doing makeup or your hair or just whatever, whatever guys do. Wash your face. Yes, I don't know. Great shower, lots of space. Space for your shampoo cups. I think it's, I don't know, what did you say, 40, 42 inches wide? Now, once again, these clients are not as tall as me. You know, I can stand up straight, but, you know, I'd be kind of splashing the water on myself. On this side, you got your standard flushing toilet your washer dryer combo with lots of space over there. And another awesome thing is the storage on this side over here. So instead of just using really deep drawers all the way down, we found an area where we could maximize space and we have 
ridiculously, <laughs> ridiculously big storage drawers all the way down. So I think they're four feet long each, all the way down the whole, oh, this one's got some treasure in it. Tons of storage. I mean, you could even bartend if you needed, we're having a party. He's got, well, you'd be in the bathroom, but that's not a problem. You got the sink. This is a, this is a wet bar. This is a wet bar, guys. First tiny house wet bar, I think, maybe. In a bathroom, for sure. <laughs> First thing most of you will notice, it's got this huge six and a half foot table where you can sit people on both sides, on the end. Um, the client wants it as a workspace. She wants to, you know, they want to sit and eat here. They've got this big sliding glass door that overlooks their view. Um, it's a perfect spot. Plus it gives you six additional feet of counter space. You know, not that this house is really lacking counter space, but still six additional feet of counter space. Oh, you could bartend here too. So if you didn't want to be in the bathroom, it's an actually great spot too. Granite countertops, real granite. We've got this tile, zoom in on this tile. Come here. I will. Just come on. Right. Just come zoom in on this tile. It's pretty crazy. It's, it's got ridges. Like, almost like a ruffles. I don't know if you can use the I don't think I can brand use name. Maybe you should say ridged potato chips. <laughs> it's got, it's got uh, ruffles, like a bag of rigid potato chips. <laughs> for, for, uh... Nice big apartment fridge. Fridge. Freezer. Beautiful blue. I don't know what, even know what color you call this, but it's gray blue. It's like a yeah, gray blue, gray blue, gray blue, and then um, floating shelves all done in the honey color. They've got their AC unit up on top, and this is actually a really awesome um, European style hood. Uh, it's a Summit brand, but it's the first time we've used it. This thing acts as like a whole house fan when you turn it on. It's incredible. Not, not selling anything or pitching anything, but it is really good. We like it a lot. And then four burner style with an oven. Lots and lots of space all the way around. More drawers, big farmhouse sink. There's two entry doors in this house, exactly two. One of which is right here. Why is it placed here? That's the side where the clients are gonna pull up. They're gonna be parking their cars out here. And then this, Five foot slider over here, over yonder. Here, wait, stay there. This is her boo. All the way out here. Well, not here, but they got parked on a knoll. They're parked on a knoll, so this looks out over their whole property. They've got this big deck that they're adding. It's coming way out here. This is where they're gonna be entertaining and having drinks and they've got their pass-through window. Another bar. Um, Another yeah. bar. All right. Ah, here we go. Ah. Boost. Boost, brother boost. Obviously from the beginning of this video, this is a 10 wide. What makes a 10 wide different? It, it makes a big difference in design. It lets you have a staircase next to a full-size bathroom to have 32 inch deep closets still have a staircase and have a doorway I mean this is the difference between a 10 wide it's it's drastic guys it really really is you can have an eight and a half foot nine foot ten foot sofa in a tiny house you can have space to walk around it you can have a over six foot bar and still have space for two people to walk by pretty simple pretty easily you could have a little bar stool here and still have somebody walk behind you maybe probably all right guys we're outside this house is absolutely gorgeous all redwood wrapping the entire top of the house it's got corrugated steel siding as the wains coating 
Um, th this is a perfect application if you're in an area that snows a little bit and you don't want any, you know, snow or moisture hitting the actual bottom of the house if you're using like natural wood. But you can see right away, the roof line in this is all dormer and gable. So we've got our peaked, our steeper peak roof right here. And then back here where you see it step up, that's actually the dormered section of the house. So that's where your loft bedroom is gonna go. Oh, look, those cute little bathroom windows. But see what I'm saying? Just this little bit, this little tiny window brings in so much natural light, especially when you have one on both sides. It's awesome. We've got an exterior box for the coax for their TV. That way when their satellite dish gets put on, whether it sits on top or on the ground, the company can come in and tie right in. They don't have to drill a hole in the side of your house. Here's that back door coming out to the beautiful deck that they'll add as soon as they uh, get the house to the property. Awnings. So these awnings are cool. We fabricate them, we powder coat them to match the house, but it's neat because they're completely removable. Even though they're industrial grade steel, they actually have carriage bolts that come up in here and then you can just take them off with wing nuts. Pretty simple. So perfect if you're moving your house, pop them off, throw them right back on when you're done. This is Nick. <laughs> this is Nick from California Tiny House. Thanks again for joining me on another tiny house tour. A tiny tour. It's one of the two. Tiny house, tiny tour. Thanks again for joining me on a tiny tour. One of these is gonna work, <laughs> for sure. All right guys, thanks for joining me. Once again, my name is Nick. This is another California tiny house, tiny house tour, 10 by 28. Tiny house tour. If you guys like the videos, you guys don't write me any comments, so I have no idea what you guys think. Please write me a comment. Let me know if you like this. If you do, we'll keep making them. If you don't, we're probably gonna keep making them. So, <laughs> because that's who we are. We don't stop, we just keep on going. Thanks again for joining me. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Why don't you guys name this house? You tell me what you think a cool name is for this house. That's the name of it. Yeah,